Good morning and welcome to the video for fifth grade for lesson 4.1. Today we're going to be working with expressions and so expressions are a way that we can represent a situation uh, using numbers and uh, in some cases it's kind of like the math problem that we would use to find an answer. Um, not to the same level as being an equation where we're actually asking them to solve it we're going to use these to find um, comparisons. Uh, so for instance, for our first problem, we are going to try to figure out how we can model how much oil we need for one flight of an airplane. And so it tells us we need to add 15 milliliters of oil each day and five milliliters of oil for each flight. So depending on how many flights we take, um, then our final answer is going to change for how much oil we need. So we are going to say that we need to do somewhere, we need to do 15 plus 5. So before we fly, and then I would say that we need to do this after we fly, um, is, is one way that we could look at that. Because um, usually you're going to do that um, afterwards. Uh, if you just put lots of oil on it right before you fly it. So um, we'll say that that's the order that we're doing things in. And then we would do one flight. So one times 15 plus five. And so we would use 15 milliliters before we fly and then five after just in case we were going to fly it again um, to make sure that everything's good. How can we model the amount of oil we need for one flight of four different airplanes, okay? So now we're talking about, we have four different airplanes um, that we need to do this. So pause the video and think about this for a second. How would this particular expression change to represent going from one airplane to four airplanes? All right, so assuming you pause the video, our number here is going to change. So we are going to say that we're doing four airplanes times the amount of oil so we would use 15 milliliters of oil before we would start flying. And then we would use five afterwards. So how do those compare? So that's the big thing that we're working on today is comparisons. So we would want to explain that the second one for part B is going to give us an amount that's four times larger than the first one. Okay. And so that's the big thing that we're working on. Now, if we did something slightly different and we said that we're going to fly one airplane four different times, we would end up with something different than this. We could we could change this slightly. So uh, I'm not even going to talk about what that is because I don't want anybody to get confused. Um, but most of what we're working with, we're going to say that one of these is a certain number of times more than the other thing. So uh, let's scroll the page down a little bit. So again, when we get down here to the bottom, we are going to talk about how these compare. Um, so uh, we'll come back to that in just a moment. So number two, each month for two months, Kyle buys a replace of, um, sorry, buys a pack of eight replacement tires for his remote control car. At the end of each month, he has one tire left. So thinking that means we're going to use seven tires. Um, so explain how the numerical expression compares or two months compared to one month. So what we would end up doing is saying that we're buying eight tires each month. We're going to end up with one left over. So we could do eight minus one, and that could be the amount of tires that we use for each month. So for one month, we could say that we're doing one times eight minus one. For two months, we could say that we are doing two times that amount. And so how does the number compare? It would be twice as many. Uh, for number two, we are working with 28 times 6 and 14 times 6. So if I go ahead and look at both of those, both of my 6s are the same. What's our relationship between 14 and 28? Well, if you pause and think about it for a second, uh, go ahead and do that. And when you're ready, hit continue. If we look at these two numbers, they're doubles, so we could do 14 plus 14. So this side is twice as many as our right-hand side. 
so going on to this one, we have 8 plus 6, and then we have three groups of 8 plus 6. So the left-hand side is three times larger than the right-hand side. So again, we're going to be doing lots of comparisons for this. Normally, this is something that we do more of in sixth grade, um, but they're introducing it a little bit earlier, some of the things that they will do in sixth grade. So we're kind of hitting the same standards for fifth grade, but we're doing slightly more difficult work so that when we do it again in sixth grade, it's easier because it's a review. Um, so I've noticed um, some of the changes, that's one of them with our new curriculum is we're doing something that's slightly more difficult for fifth grade uh, to make you ready for when uh, you do it in sixth grade. It'll be a lot easier instead of being something new. All right, so uh, that concludes our video for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me uh, by text or by email for my Risen Christ students and their families, um, and I will try to help you as much as I can. Hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.